Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Cracking the Box. Today we have the Samwa S35 from Tamiya in 135th scale. This is a new tool released for 2015, one of their first uh, new new tank kits of 2015. 2015, I meant to say. Um, they're stamped 2015 on the on the plastic. I noticed. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the cover here. We've got 135th Military Miniature Series Number 344 French Medium Tank Samoa S35. Detailed static display model accurately captures the rounded form of the S35, including cast metal surface patterns, bogey suspension, and armored wheel skirts. Features assembly type tracks, includes one commander figure, and three marking options. On the side, you can see they've got some of those marking options uh, shown. They've got the 18th Dragoon Reg Regiment, um, and they show Tamiya colors, uh, XF colors on here. And on the other side, they've got the 13th Dragoon Regiment, at least, at least the ones they have here on the box. The other one's probably the one here on the cover. So cracking it open, we can see we've got light gray Tamiya Styrene, and we'll just kind of open these bags up and take a look on the inside. This one includes um, some of the figure um, and uh, looks like some stowage or canvas uh, bags there. Uh, the turret is a texturized um, surface uh, effect to it, very nice. It's a two-piece turret. And again, looking at the copyrights, they're 2015 Tamiya. So this includes the one gun, it's a one-piece gun. It's got a hollowed out end on it. A mantlet. There's even some nice kind of pitting here on part of the mantlet, and uh, looks very nice. Looks looks very good. Uh, second sprue here is the main hull, upper and lower. Some rubber grommets in there with some uh, metal chain. That's also included in there. And um, let me see if I can get the, uh, so even on the lower hull here, you have that nice texturing feature you're seeing there. Same thing with the, the upper hull. And again, um, 2015 stamp dates on this plastic. So, uh, so uh, let me see if I can get the camera to cooperate here. Nice detail there on the hatches. Uh, again, some of the latching handles are fixed in place, but uh, look very nice still. Um, then they, we have some of the detail of the side uh, track, protect track protection areas, and uh, as well as some of the vent work here. But overall, it looks uh, very nice, very uh, very different than the average tank. Obviously, this is a Kind of an early pre-war French tank, the one that I'm sure was busy defending thing, places like the Maginot Line. Didn't work out too well for the French, unfortunately. Fixed defenses, a thing of the past. Here's the clear. Uh, some nice uh, driver visors there. I think some other lenses, and, and there, there is a. I noticed on the the. <coughs> front there's rather a kind of unique to this tank kind of headlight right here I thought that was kind of kind of nice with the protective covering around it and I got another night light on the other side too uh, this piece has uh, some interesting like mufflers I believe those are some of the, the mufflers of the engine there and uh, here's some again some of the side skirting and so forth looks looks good um, again typical to me quality no production issues here that I can see. No flash, no, you know, nothing like that. Again, the texturing on the things like the the um, hatch there, very nice. And then we have probably what most people are gonna go gasp and go, oh, we have, it looks like, I'm. these are look, looking a lot, uh, looking like one-to-one uh, -one tracks, so you probably click them together. Let's, let's try one and see how how much of a job this is going to be. 
All right, so again, not really doing something silly like reading the manual or anything. I'm um, thinking that these just click in place, but. Two, this is duplicate pieces, yes, two duplicate sprues, and these include the road wheels, the idler wheels, the um, sprockets, and so forth, drive wheels. And uh, again, uh, some nice detail on these. Um, nothing too outrageous though, because considering the scale and also the size of the tank's not huge, obviously. But um, looks good, typical Tamiya thoroughness and quality. Can't speak to the um, the accuracy of said kit, but hopefully they did their homework on that part. And the decals, I just love saying decals. I don't know why we ever started to call them decals. Decals sound so much better. <laughs> Sorry, the anglophile in me coming out. Um, so you can see uh, there's some of the different marking options. And again, um, pretty sure that'll probably have a 2015. Or does that say 2011? Let's see. No, 2015 date. So, um, that just leaves us with the manual, and we've got uh, some reference material here with the um, the reference bit, and they include some nice glossy color um, camouflage and marking guides, as well as information and history on the tank and some of the. Uh, various uh, vernacular of the uh, various things here. Various things. That, that pretty much sums it all up. Uh, so the manual is a step-by-step -step process, obviously, starting with the side um, protect the track protecting areas, and then the road wheel um, bill. It looks fairly straightforward. A lot, a lot of suspension parts, obviously. Uh, they are showing um, on those tracks, this is the process they're showing, which looks like um, looks like a snap together process, right? I guess they show it pushing down into it to snap it into place. So, see, reading the instructions is a good thing. Um, anyway, this just continues on, pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, includes the one full figure. No interior or anything like that to speak of, it looks like, but um, I mean, there's a, a door here that can be probably assembled in a downward position, I'm guessing. Maybe not. And uh, there's some other side hatches on that turret. So probably lots of, lots of room for customization and so forth. Well, let's take a look at the, some of the photos of the kit and we'll come back and wrap up.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the photos uh, and unboxing of the Samoa. Did I get that right? Samoa S35. I did have to look that one up, so I didn't know how the French pronounced this, and I hope that's at least a little close. Um, we thank, we'd like to thank Tamiya USA for sending us this early review copy. You won't find this in stores quite yet. This is as of me speaking uh, close to the end of February here. February 24th is when I recorded this. Um, but uh, you should be able to see it probably in pre-order status, and I'm guessing it'll probably be out on shelves maybe in about a month's time, maybe month one to two months, if, if that long. Um, and uh, I'm sure people will be liking, uh, people will be interested in making uh, this tank because it obviously um, did uh, was used in different roles and uh, has come some history and so forth behind it. So um, thanks for watching this uh, unboxing. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And as usual, uh, we'll see you next time on Cracking the Box. Mm -hmm.